Okay, making a progress um, tracker in Sheets is one obvious way to keep track of your class's progress. The beauty of this is I can actually share it with a group if I want to, and um, or with other teachers who share the group so that they can see exactly where everybody is at as well. So this here is my live um, year eight um, progress tracker. And it was obviously quite simple to set up. I just typed in the text into the columns, put the names of the students down the left-hand side, and I then just type in a, a Y when they finish the work. Or I can use different key if I want to. I could say that the work is incomplete, or I could say that it's being improved, whatever it is that I want to write in that area. Now, what I'm going to show you in this video as well is how to use conditional formatting to change the way that a cell looks and how to use validation so that there are only certain options that can be chosen. So let's just take um, column seven, which hasn't, hasn't been filled in yet. If I highlight that column, I can go to something called data and then validation. And what I can do is I can say list from a range and then I can give it a list of things to choose from. So let's just say, for example, down here, I want the options to be, um, yes, missing, incomplete, improving, just as an example. Now, if I go back and highlight those again and go back to that data validation, data validation, I can now choose those cells. Click OK and click Save. What happens now is I get a little drop down box where I can choose from those options. Now that's useful if you want to speed things up for yourself, but it's also useful if you've got more than one person filling in the sheet and you want to keep the terminology that they use um, to track progress consistent. Now, and go a step further than that. Let's just select a couple of things in here, and I'll delete, delete those in a minute. You'll notice that Y has already changed to green. I'm going to show you why in a second. So let's highlight those cells. And we're now going to go to something called conditional formatting. So under Format, I go to conditional formatting. You can see I've already got some um, validation in here. If I wanted to add a rule, I would say text contains the word incomplete. And I might decide that I want the background color to be that red color there. And I'm going to save that rule. And you'll notice that it automatically turns that to red. And the same will apply if I type incomplete in anywhere else. So it's just a nice way of very easily giving yourself a visual overview of how things are. I'm just going to put this sheet back to how it was um, because this is a live sheet and I don't want to change that for students. So I'm going to go back to the 17th of October using my revision history and restore that session. And it's back to how it was.